Hey, what's up YouTube? So in this video, I want to show you how you can add USB 3.1, USB-C, and eSATA to your Mac Pro. So the one thing that the last generation Mac Pro lacks is current I.O. connectivity, and that creates a bottleneck. You're basically stuck with USB 2.0 or FireWire. Now the easiest way to fix this problem is to add a PCIe to USB uh, 3.0 express card. That's an inexpensive solution, but it will take up one of your PCIe ports. Now what I decided to do is to go with a different option. One that will not only give me USB 3.1, USB-C, and eSATA, while only taking up one PCIe slot, since I have the other three filled up with a GPU, SSD, and a 10 gigabit network card. The card that I'm talking about is a CalDigit Fasta 6GU3 Plus. Dang, it's a, I know it's a long name, but it's still a great product worth mentioning. This card offers 10 gigabit USB 3.1 ports, which is twice the speed of USB 3.0 and includes both type A and C. Yes, this is the same USB type C that's in all the new generation MacBooks as well as the new iPad Pro. Just don't confuse it with Thunderbolt. There is also two eSATA 6 gigabit ports and you get all this while taking up one PCIe slot, which is the biggest reason why I ended up buying this card. While you can achieve similar results with other products, you'll have to get two separate PCIe cards. In my opinion, the best part about this is that it lets your Mac Pro stay relevant and future-proof for the next few more years. Oh, and one feature that I forgot to mention is that you're able to use such current text such as USB-C hubs, and it supports USB-C charging as well. Oh, and for the eSATA, you'll be able to hook up more drives to your system. You can either get an eSATA enclosure or a dock like I have. That way you are not limited with the four drive bays that are inside your Mac Pro case. So to test this out, I will use a Western Digital hard drive and connect it to a USB 3.0 interface to see what base speeds we're getting from the 2.0 port, the CalDigit 3.1, and take the drive out of the enclosure and run it in the eSATA dock. Well, there you guys have it. Hopefully I gave you some ideas on what upgrading to USB 3.1 and eSATA could do for your system. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. If you like this content, please don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.